Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Tales of Fantasia. And in the last episode, I did some screwing around, uh, leveled up, got some rune bottles, made some items. In between episodes, I purchased some better equipment from the armor shop. Got the split mail, tower shield, armament, and iron gloves for class. Kept his accessories the same. And for mid, yeah, I got, well, I already had an amber cloak, but yeah, I gave her, or I bought her a miter and oven mitts. So she can cook for us. Yeah, right? That makes sense. And then I got Clarth a miter, because that's the best headgear I can get for him. Couldn't find any hand gear for Clarth. And then, of course, uh, on the other three characters, then Quest, uh, I gave uh, all of them flare capes and aqua capes to help invalidate water, wind, and fire and earth elemental damage 30% of the time. That's pretty good. And yeah, I gave, um, I gave Arch oven mitts as well, so she can also cook for us. Yay! <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, as far as my items, if, uh, in case you didn't watch, uh, the last episode, um, I did, I did, uh, transform some, uh, some melange gels into miracle gels. So those would be nice to have for, um, I don't know, boss battles perhaps? And uh, yeah, I did stock up on room bottles that way if I do come across items that need to be identified or items that I want to transform, I have plenty of room bottles to work with. And yeah, like I said, you can farm those room bottles from those, uh, those enemies on uh, Demeter's Island. So let's talk to the captain. Wow, well, don't start with up that crap. We'd probably be well on our way to Alvinista right now if it weren't for Deus. I'm not about to put my ship in men at risk of an attack by him. Damn it, what am I gonna do? And what is what are you, what are you doing, Arch? Hey there, hot stuff. Won't you pretty please do a favor for a cute little Arch? If you do, I'll give you anything you want. <laughs> That, that really isn't something I wanted to hear from a kid! Oh, how mean! Yeah, well, uh, don't worry about her, man. We'll just, we'll just pay you whatever you need. Name your price. <laughs> and Arch has earned the title of Femme Fatale Failure. <laughs> nice. Alright, yeah, and make sure you have at least 680 gold for this part. Because that's what we need to set sail. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Gotta love it. <clears throat> oh, the sea breeze feels so lovely. Okay, so Mint and Arch really have nothing to talk about right now. So, which one's your type class? You know, what are you talking about? Mint and Arch, what, what? What? They're kids! What are you, crazy? Are you a pedo? Do we need to put you, uh... Do we need to put you in the sex offender directory, or whatever they call that? Do we need to register you? That's nasty. But I suppose this is a fantasy world, so I guess, uh... I, I guess molesting young girls is okay in, 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 the, in the world of Fantasia, I guess. Marauld. That's the stupidest! Listen, she's nothing more than my assistant! Yeah, what does she assist you with then, huh? Yeah, what are you talking about? N nothing, nothing that concerns you. Well, you gotta tell her now, Clark. He's talking about <coughs> dirty things. <coughs> Who's this guy? Uh, I'm just a poor wandering swordsman. Mayor's the name. Oh, mercenary, huh? Now I've got my sights set on exploring the Moria Mine over in Alvinista. 
It's the remains of an ancient dwarven ore mine. This is the first time you've heard of it. Well, anyway, the guards there won't let you so much as look inside the place without a permit from Alvinista. Yeah, you gonna get one for us? That'd be awesome. Shouldn't be a problem. My pals in the Adventurers Guild should make getting that painless. Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. I think I'm gonna go inside and get me some grub. We should trade stories later. All right, see ya. All right, Mr. Mayor. Come to think of it, my tummy's growling like a lion. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let's let's go in there and uh, and uh, and check it out. Do, 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 do. Got some pretty sweet music playing in here. Nice and jazzy. Oh, he's got a table for us. Nice. Sure, why not? Let's do it. How about a drink? You're good for a pint, yeah? <laughs> and Clark's like, hell yeah if you're paying. I love this guy. <laughs> wow, they're getting fucking plastered. Kless and Mint are still sitting there. They just keep chugging and chugging! And they're still going, and look at their faces, they're beat red! Hey Arch, are you still with us? Uh, doesn't look like it. it looks like she's drinking Pepto-Bismol. I mean, what's that fucking pink shit? Or that pink bottle next to her? <laughs> Class and Mint are finally gone. After like two hours of sitting there watching them drink, that's crazy. And then we finally found the elusive chest. It turned out that the damn thing wasn't just empty. It had no b bottom to begin with. <laughs> oh man, that's p priceless. Uh, huh? Ha! Huh, gotta say, I like you, brother. So I'll to tell ya. Yeah? Just between you and me, you know. Huh? What is it? Come on, you can tell your propel cloth. We're not going to Moria. What do you mean you're not going to Moria mine? Say what? <coughs> Whoa. Creepy? <coughs> what? No touching allowed. What are you dreaming about? Holy crap. This child has a sick, sick mind. <laughs> and I got some info I could sell for a fat sack of gold. Like top secret stuff, you know. Hey, don't tease me, bro. This is gonna blow your mind. Alvinista seems all right on the surface, you know. But thing is, the thing is, Dales has been, you know, influencing stuff behind the scenes, and the place is just bowed under his thumb. What? How's that? Listen, my man. The prince, what's his name? Laird? Yeah, is the only heir, right? I just got some pr proof that he's been controlled by one of them monsters that work for Deus. I mean, why do you think Alvinista won't lift a finger against him? They're just as powerful as Midgard, aren't Midgard? You mean like Mid? No, that's Midgar. Whatever. Mid telling you make his perfect sense, don't you think? That's unbelievable. Hi. Whoa. Whoa. Creepy. Oh, uh, anyway, you're gonna keep that to yourself, eh, brother? 
Ooh, I'm smashed. Gotta find a place to crash that ain't the floor. Yes, you do that, Mr. Mayor. Time to go, Arch. You'll be sneezing for a week if you sleep with your face planted in a puddle of baboos. Whoa, hello. Do I really want to know what you the hell you're dreaming about? Blah, blah, blah. Probably not. <laughs> Come on, kid. Up you go. <laughs> and Arch has another title, Three Sheets to the Wind. Very nice. <laughs> Look, Art's a real bed. Hi. Okay, good night. <laughs> so yeah, Arch has a very, very dirty mind. And again, another reason why this game was probably never released originally in the U.S. is because of scenes like that. And the scene before with the captain, for that matter. Yeah, can we help you? Class, look out! Ooh, what'd you do that for? Come on, Class, go outside! I think, oh, he's being controlled. What do you mean he's being controlled? Fuck! Heads pounding! Hangover of my life! Oh my god. So yeah, we gotta take on, uh, whatever this is, by ourselves, because everybody else is either sleeping or hungover. <laughs> Great, huh? That's alright, we can handle it. Right? Help me! Whoa. And Mare is being controlled by Mare. Oh, yep. some fucking soldier guy. So yeah, all I gotta do is do Sword Rain Alpha on this guy. And uh, he won't stand a chance. I mean, I'm fucking annihilating this fucker. And there he goes, he's dead. And we get a mysterious sword, and we get some good um, experience in gold for defeating him. Kudos, are you alright? Like I said, Mero is being controlled, and by a monster. Yeah, probably was. Oh, he didn't make it. That guy was fun. That guy bought us free drinks and everything. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> well. Sometimes things just don't end well. It's just the way it is. Yeah, definitely. Everybody needs that drilled into their heads. You too, Mr. Captain! <laughs> wow. What do you mean? Rushing into a heavily guarded castle without a plan would be reckless. Let's head over to the inn and put one together. Okay, but before we do that, let's explore. Yeah, totally, man. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is a brand new town, so let's... <coughs> well, I'm going to start exploring it in this episode anyways. Probably won't get to all of it. This guy's completely oblivious to the state of the world right now. How many times do I have to tell you, we can't go anywhere! Hmm. There's another ship. Oh, this one goes to Belladam, okay. So that's kind of like a shortcut. 60 gold, no, we don't want to go right now. But, uh, at this point, if you did want to go back to Belladam and, uh, pick up spells for, um, for Arch, and just kind of, you know, do a little backtracking for stuff like that, then you could. Huh? That's not good. Everybody's got to eat. What? Say that again. Evil crab. What evil crab? You mean this crab? Get out of the way, crab. So that crab is blocking my treasure then. <laughs> and strike it for mass. Okay, yeah, I'm just hitting the circle button here. Maybe just like the ninja battles in those ancient history books I read. You gotta keep talking to this guy. I don't, yeah, I don't think that crab is gonna move. But um, I'm gonna try and come back for that treasure if I can, eventually. <coughs> Many elves have important jobs here. This place is sort of a haven for them, since it's so difficult for them to find work in other countries. The king is doing this because he wants to completely integrate magic into our country's society. He's very progressive. Hmm. The pub's a hot spot for Advent Eurors seeking expedition in the Moria Mine. <coughs> Most likely because that's more or less the only place where they can get an entry permit. Hmm. And I'm the hero's trusty mate sidekick! Let's us go, my hero will show those monsters! Oh my goodness. What the hell? Well then, uh, that would suck. I don't really know what to tell you. Cooking always sends me into the seventh heaven! Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Alright, uh, let's explore the pharmacy, whatever the hell this is. Northwest of Midgard and west of the Valhalla Plains exists a forest where a horned white horse lives. Apparently, it will only reveal itself to pure maidens. Huh. Pure maidens, huh? We have a couple in, uh, in our party right now, I think, right? Maybe, or maybe maybe Arch isn't, but I know that uh, Mint definitely is. Ooh, we can buy room bottles here, but look at the amount of gold you gotta fork over for them. So yeah, 
it's almost really not worth it. You'd probably be better off just going back to um, Demeter's Island and trying to farm them from those uh, those enemies. I think they were called wraiths or something. But either way, you can buy rune bottles in that uh, that item shop, which is nice. Adventurers Guild, huh? Is this the uh, the guild that um that uh mayor was from or something like that? You, you, a swordsman? Wanna buy this arcane art book? Yeah, do you have one? 6,000 gold? Yeah, sure, why not? And we learned demonic sword rain. Although we had to pay for it. So, yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, it's a combination of Demon Fang and Sword Rain Alpha, so that's pretty good. So yeah, that's our whole goal right now, is to get a permit so we can enter the frickin' mine. Secret word. Uh, sure. It's Yomi. Yo, Y, O, M, I. Okay. He said there's some cave entrance you can open by saying those letters in that order. Okay, Yomi. Y, O, M, I. I'm gonna have to like write that down or remember it somehow because uh. Yeah, there's actually a cave that um is kind of by Belladam. That I didn't go to because I didn't know the password, but apparently I think that's where the password is uh, is learned. So I think I'm gonna. I think it's probably gonna be in my best interest to go there next, so I can get another spirit for Clarth, because that'll definitely help him out. Okay, directions. That's those. That's nice. Yeah, that bartender's kind of a jerk. Hey, babe. How about we blow this popsicle stand and go someplace nice? Yes, he's a flirty. I hate this stubborn jerk. I wish he'd leave me alone already. Why don't you smack him in the face? Can I do something with that piano? For some reason, I'm thinking I can. I guess not. I don't know why I was thinking that. But yeah, here we can get uh, another thing for class, and then we can get a password called Yomi, or Y-O-M-I, I guess. I don't know if it's the same in other translate. Wait a minute. I'm out. I don't know if it's the same in other translations of this game, I can't remember, but... For this translation, it is Y-O-M-I. Yeah, all right. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Elves. Lots and lots of elves. Oh, hello. If you win the race against that kid, you'll get an incredible, um... Well, I don't know what exactly, but it's some kind of item. You'll just have to win to find out. Huh. Maybe, maybe later. Elves are so beautiful, so majestic, and... Damn, they are hot. I need to date one now! With my luck though, I bet they just shoot me down. I bet they're so foxy because of all those organic foods they ate. Oh man, hubba hubba! <laughs> if you look at King Alvinista's family tree, you'll find some elves a ways back. <laughs> There's a theory that mana, the source of magic, is created by a process called magical photosynthesis. Sounds pretty fancy, but what the heck differentiates it from normal photosynthesis? Yeah? I don't know, because like photosynthesis is uh, plants turning sunlight into food. And maybe the elves turn magic into food, I guess. I don't know. Sure. And we learned the recipe for spaghetti. 
and we can, <laughs> this place is called Pig Out. So yeah, we can buy some ingredients here that I don't really care about, but you know, whatever. I still haven't done any cooking in this game yet. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but maybe eventually. But uh, I think I'm going to end the episode right here, actually. That's all for this episode. Oh, let's play Tales of Fantasia. Then in the next episode, we're going to continue exploring Alvinista. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.